Yeah, so I'm Farida, I'm 23 years old. I was, so I was diagnosed at uh, nine. And it started at nine and I was diagnosed at nine. Uh, I've been on colchicine ever since. Uh, um, my main symptoms were, uh, when I was younger, they were like um, um, uh, stomach pain and uh, like uh, different uh, inflammations in my joints and uh, a high fever and the typical attacks of FMF. But as I <laughs> got older, they, the attacks have not been that um, severe. It just has been like pain all over, like pain, like not a, not in attacks or not in intervals, it's just like chronic pain throughout, but uh, my attacks are manageable now. From Egypt, so there are a lot of people that oh. have FMF. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I just live in Germany now, but I, I was like diagnosed and everything in Egypt. Uh, so uh, some people from my family have FMF as well. Uh, but I was the first one to be diagnosed, actually. Like, I was the, the first one to be diagnosed, and then my aunts were diagnosed at, like, 40 after me. No, I mean, I thought in, it would have been, like, more because, I mean, Egypt is a very, like, it's very common. It's not a rare disease at all in Egypt. Like, it is it is very common. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought like people, like doctors would know more about it, but no, I talked with a doctor and he's like, all we're taught about it in medical school is literally like a paragraph inside of a very big uh, book that we like read once and we never talk about this condition. So not a lot of doctors even know what it is. It depends on each doctor. So the first doctor that diagnosed me was my like childhood family doctor kind of thing um yeah i was getting sick a lot and she was the one that said uh to go get the testing for fmf and it was really new it was only there was only one lab in the whole country that did this testing and i, I remember i had to travel with like a train i remember this very clearly and then and then after that it's been really like the doctors here or i mean in egypt really they, they either um don't know about it at all or if they know about it they are like memorizing one thing all you have to do is yeah just take uh, colchicine and mm -hmm. yeah you'll be fine it doesn't work with everyone and they don't know anything about the dosage or anything and they can't ask answer any questions i have and they're like yeah your chronic pain is unrelated uh, fmf comes in attacks only if you have other pain no that's not related but um, yeah, so they haven't been really much of help. Yeah, like I've stopped going to like hospitals and, and like doctors, like other than like the ones that I'm following up with, but I've stopped going to like trips because I'm in pain or stuff like that. I, I really have stopped. Like, I, so now I live uh, in Germany alone and um, all my family's in Egypt. So like when we talk with, when I talk with my parents and oh, I'm telling them, oh, I'm, I think I'm having an attack or I'm tired or I'm sick. They're like, oh, go to the doctor. You have to go. I'm like, no, they're not going to do anything for me. So they're like trying to push me to go to doctors and do tests and stuff. I'm like, I know it's just, it's okay. It will pass. I'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I know when I'm getting a flare, yes. But so far I haven't, I had success with just knowing triggers because mm -hmm. it is, it's been very random. Like sometimes when I'm stressed, sometimes when I'm not, <laughs> it's like I so far, I don't know, but I haven't uh, recognized uh, much of the triggers for myself. No. Not much like um, at first they're like, no, we're not sick, we're fine. And then they started taking uh, also colchicine and they started getting better a little bit but some of them I think uh, it was like too late for them so uh, like yeah I don't know but like um, uh, there was a lot of kidney problems for my mm -hmm. grandma 
and we didn't know like she had all like thinking about it she had all the symptoms that i had but she was never diagnosed because it's just she was never diagnosed and she actually ended up passing away from this kidney like problems that she had so mm -hmm. so yeah they have been and the rest of them have been quite resistant to like actually believing that it is because they're like oh the doctors knows better and they are saying that we're fine so we are fine uh, but yeah um unfortunately he hasn't like so like our relationship is good apart from this but he just has never been involved in me being sick or like i get sick a lot so for him oh she's just sick again so it's like he and he doesn't really understand or i think most people don't really understand like how i feel and because doctors are saying i'm fine so they're like like toughen up your like mm -hmm. you need to toughen up but um i think as i have gotten older he has like learned to like just don't like not say anything like when we were younger he would like oh you're such a cry baby like like as he has seen me like no i'm really in pain like i'm struggling here so now he just doesn't like interfere in anything when i was first diagnosed it was hard to go to school definitely but i think for just the first year but after that I was managing it, so I finished school normally in person, and I also went to college, just normally finished my degree. And I also came to Germany and did a master's degree, and now I'm working full-time, and it's okay. But, I mean, there have been a lot of struggles. Like, I remember, like, I like the nurse in my college, like, we were best friends. <laughs> like, I would always go there. <laughs> They're like, yeah, <laughs> they know me, like. Yeah, okay, just lay down. We give you some medicine. <laughs> You'll be fine. So, yeah, but other than that, no, it hasn't really been, I think, for me, like, much. Like, it hasn't contributed much in my life. I've done, like, yeah, everything, sports, activities. Oh, I played tennis for a very long time. I also um, like played the piano for a very long time and also I did then when I was um, 15 I went to the US actually for a year I did an exchange in the US for a year I mean not really because sometimes I can do strenuous activities and not get anything any pain or anything and sometimes it hits really hard so you never know which time it's gonna be um, but I think I just learned to like, okay, if I'm feeling pain, I just let my body rest. That I think the main thing, like I don't push myself too much. Like if I start feeling a little bit sick or I'm not feeling good enough to do anything, I don't push myself. And I think that's the main thing that for me, that worked for me at least. Right. I know that wouldn't work for everyone, but for me at least that worked. Um, unfortunately, nothing concrete, like, I know, I know, like, um, my doctor is there, like, I can call her and she can help me out, and also my brother. Really hard here because I'm not fluent in German yet, because I've been here for just about a year. Um... So I'm not fluent yet. Sometimes I have um, have hard time explaining what I feel exactly. Like I can communicate basic stuff, but sometimes I just can't explain in details. So I just started actually my job three weeks ago, <laughs> and <laughs> like um, so. And my my manager doesn't really know I'm sick. Like it didn't, it never came up. Um, and I also have, uh, like my work is flexible hours so I can take time off if I need to. And that's good. And that has helped me a lot that like, mm -hmm. if I'm not feeling well that day, I work from home and I can take any time off. Sometimes I feel in myself, like, am I being dishonest because I'm not telling them up front? Should they know? I, I don't know. I never tell them up front as well, but 
I sometimes I feel myself, I mean, it's, it is going to affect me sooner or later in my job. Like I'm going to have to take days off and mm-hmm. uh, stuff like that. So, but I, I don't know. So it was like a conflict inside of me. For sure, this has been uh, like one of my main concerns. But again, the doctors in Egypt don't believe it affects any, it affects it. But from my research, at least, I know it does, and also I don't know if it's related, but also like my whole life, um, I've had a very uh, like um, unstable like period and problems mm-hmm. with everything like that. So, and I really struggled like during pu- puberty, puberty, uh, uh, to like during this time, yeah, with my period, and I have been ever since. So I think, yeah. A lot like I used to have the thought a lot of times like yeah maybe I'm really not sick maybe it's just stress sometimes like I was convinced they convinced me that yeah maybe because I was too stressed and I'm thinking too much I'm in my head so sometimes but then it would hit me again I'm like I'm trying to be like I'm happy why why am I getting this <laughs> unfortunately a lot um, and mainly because for a very long time, even for my fa- like in my family, it wasn't I wasn't really understood or it was taking that um, like I was just faking or like exaggerating everything. So it w- mm-hmm. really took a toll on my mental health. And uh, I think from my senior year of high school to like my second or third year of college, I was really struggling with um, depression. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I think after that, I think like, yes, it was a very hard period, but I think after that, that like helped me, I guess, or helped my parents understand a lot more about me. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we had a lot of uh, like uh, breakthroughs in our relationships <laughs> during uh, this time. So I think just the main thing is just like we mentioned, but again, just um, like knowing your body, believing that you are correct, even though the doctors are telling you you are not. Mm -hmm. Um, And like speaking up for yourself, because like for a long time when a doctor told me, oh, you're fine, I was like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Even even though I was diagnosed, like they knew I had it, but even though like I had an official diagnosis, some doctors were like, oh, it's not a real thing. You, you don't really, you're not really sick. It's not a real sickness. Yeah. So I, I guess just fighting for your, like for your body, for yourself. <laughs>